Clearly dementia causes uh, problems for, for the individual and, and their families and with support people with dementia can, can live a, a full life in, in the community uh, for a significant period of time and may not need to enter care at all. Dementia describes a, a set of symptoms that occur when um, damage occurs to the brain. Uh, part of these symptoms can be loss of memory, uh, changes in, in mood and also difficulties in um, conversation and reasoning. We went to Frickley to play the minus team, Frickley Cockery. There was only four of us from Telford and we became very friendly behind the goals with uh, the uh, goalkeeper named Tommy Maxwell. And uh, Colin Williams was playing his first game for Telford and we offered him a drink of our tea to keep him warm, it was a bitter night. And uh, he accepted that, but didn't get back in goal in time for Colin Williams to score our equaliser. My favourite memory of uh, watching Telford was the Everton Telford game in February 1985. I thought it was a really great day. I, I always remember previous the, the, the match against Darlington when John Alcock knocked that ball across into, and we got the third goal in the back, and we thought. We're going to Everton here. They're one of the biggest clubs in in England, and they basically won the won the league that year, I think. And um, we were going there, and we, we 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 played well. We played well for an hour. My first memory of uh, watching Salford United was a Macclesfield uh, FA Trophy final in 1988 against the Silk Men. I remember going to the game with uh, on, a, on a bus, I think it left from the book's head, uh, went with my uncle. Uh, I do believe someone was sick in a lunchbox, uh, which was quite an experience for a young kid, you know, eight or nine years of age. First visit to Wembley as well, and that was always special. It's, it's not as special now, really, Wembley Stadium. It was then when you used to walk up Wembley Way and the Twin Towers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Telford lost that day. No, they won. They actually won that day. It was Ian Crawley who scored. I was thinking about Enfield the year before. Um, but uh, no, Telford won that day, fantastic occasion, uh, really good and it would be wonderful if we could do that again soon. My earliest uh, memories of uh, what was then Wellington Town and subsequently became Telford United and now AFC Telford would have been in the uh, mid to late 50s uh, on a Saturday afternoon when uh, I had two options. One was to go shopping in Wellington at a time when you went around every shop in the town and the market and what have you. Uh, or I could have come down here with my dad who'd been coming to the club for about 40 years before then and um, I came down and uh, had a bag of crisps and a bottle of pop and watched the football and I'd be about five at the time and that's when I got hooked. Now, my mum isn't exactly a big fan of football these days, but when, we, when she was a young woman, she used to be, uh, when she lived in Portsmouth, she used to go and watch Portsmouth regularly at Fratton Park. And consequently, the, the AFC Telford United Dementia Project, for me, is a total reminder of just what a good tool uh, it is to actually use past events as a positive trigger to have positive dis of, uh, discussions with people with dementia. And so for me, it enables me to have a much more fun sort of a time and experience of conversation with my mum and I otherwise wouldn't. Uh, in 1962, I um, was a ball boy for two or three seasons. Um, and part of my remembering the ball boy, other than fetching the ball off the line, was I used to be in the changing room at the start of the match. And the trainer used to used to send me up to um, the sports shop, which is up by the cocktail, or was by the cocktail called Jones's Sports Shop. And I'd be going there for some laces or some chin pads or um, tackle for the studs for the boots those days. Probably one of my strongest memories is when I think it might be my tenth birthday. Uh, I was a club mascot and uh, I was so excited the whole day. I woke up so early. I was so excited to, to, to go in and we got got there really early and uh, remember they, they gave me a, they gave me a, a Telford shirt to put on and uh, I, I, I'd gone in like the full kit uh, and they, they introduced me to the took me into the changing room just before the match 
and there was big big Jim Bentley was the captain at the time and uh, he was giving a pre-match sort of speech whipping the players up into a frenzy and I don't think I've ever been more scared in my life he was a big guy and he was he was pretty loud and I was only a little little kid and he scared the absolute living daylights out of me The, uh, the club was formed by a gentleman called Reverend William Banner who used to run a, a Sunday school in Wellington and uh, his gravestone is still by uh, the bowling ring in the bowling ring centre, you can still see it. Um, he started the PCI club for about four, five, six years uh, and then transferred over to Wellington Town. There's not that much info shown the link but we believe that it was a continuation. Wellington Town obviously ran till the late 60s when obviously Telford United came along and then obviously following the demise of, of the old Telford United, obviously AFC, in 2004. Yeah, my first memory of coming to Telford, it was um, in 2009, it was, I think it was, against, yeah, it was against Southport, I think it was 1-0 from an Andy Brown goal. I went to Muxton Primary and Telford at the time they were doing a special promotion which meant that any um, children could get in half, any parents could get in half price and children could come free with them, yeah, and I really enjoyed the match and I thought to myself, hey, this could be fun, come more often. Now since uh, my connection with the club's just grown and grown. Now, the first memories was, I used to say, we moved up here in the 70s and uh, they were never a successful team, but they were never a bad team. And uh, we used to have some real good laugh and made some damn good friends, didn't you? And uh, I still continue to do so. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's altered out of all proportion to what it used to be. And I mean, you know, like you get Bobby Irving sat down here with an umbrella up in goal. <laughs> Most type of things. It's, uh, you know, it's. Uh, used to have the banter with the crowd. More so now, it's more uh, hate filled, isn't it? Later on this summer, I'm doing a, a bike ride, an ordeal, 235 miles cycling from London to Brussels uh, for the Alzheimer's Society. Um, it started off as a personal fitness crusade, really. But uh, I've come across more and more people with Alzheimer's that I've spoken to about the bike ride who are, who are touched, I think, by what I'm doing. And uh, they go on to explain the impact and how it's affected people in their lives, their, their grandparents, their parents. And I realise more and more what an important thing it is. And uh, every thousand pounds I raise will pay for something like 80 phone calls, support calls to people with Alzheimer's to help them through the disease. Still, Telford pressurising the Derby goal. It's gone in. Stevie has scored for Telford. Turning preserved. I'm David Wright, Member of Parliament for Telford. I'm a long-standing supporter of AFC Telford United. Got involved when the club was first set up a few years ago. It's a community-owned club. We're incredibly proud of it within the Telford area. And what's wonderful is that it does work in partnership with a whole range of organisations. And this project in partnership with the Alzheimer's Society is incredibly important. It helps all of us enjoy our football memories of Wellington Town, Telford United and AFC Telford United. My, my grandfather was a lifelong supporter. My mother was a lifelong supporter. Uh, I entered the scene in uh, 1942 and I was brought along in a pram. Um, my actual memories specific memories date back to January 1947 um, when I can remember seeing Wellington Town um, play and won 7-1. The following week I was very badly disappointed they won 6-1. I was all really really proud to have played in several uh, junior uh, and school cup finals on the old book's head. And I guess then, some 40 years later, being very a very proud spectator when my uh, son, who was also a goalkeeper, played in the, uh, the final games of the newly reformed AFC Telford United and they, uh, they won the final on, on the new book's head. My earliest memory, um, or my first memory of, of the days before playing in the final, um, was an unfortunate injury to the, the then goalkeeper Stuart Brock um, getting that phone call to to deputise um, and then the day of the game being reasonably nervous shall we say um, and walking out in front of four and a half thousand people um, so going from playing park football in front of 
a man and his dog on a Sunday morning to playing in front of four and a half thousand people um, was a little bit different. Yeah, it's more changes for wearing kitchen. You've got some old grudge matches there. Put your beat Shrewsbury and Wellington. Yeah, yeah. Were those big games? I got a trick here, what's that? Chubby first half and the entertaining display of football and a hat trick from Skipper. That's cock again. 4 0 win over time. Second half hat trick. Was it? Did you score many of those, Les? Not really. He did. He did. I scored a few. He's been Have a look at those. Who's that? Wellington Town versus Sankey. We also won the five-a-side competition up at Aldersley. Mm -hmm. The people, teams from all over came in to it. This five-a-side. Is that Wolverhampton Aldersley? No, it uh, was at um, Newport. Yeah. Um, obviously our adv advice would be if um, you have got any concerns about your memory is to go and see your GP. Um, for the benefits of seeing the GP early are that obviously it can rule out any other medical conditions that might be causing memory problems and also uh, an early diagnosis means that you can take control, you can get early information, signposting and support um, to help with the condition. Uh, and also obviously um, contact the Alzheimer's Society where we offer uh, information, signposting and also a home support service.